Kayak Fishing Tales is brought to you by Ocean Kayak, makers of the Trident and Ultra series of fishing kayaks, and the Torque, which features a removable Minn Kota motor. Check them out at OceanKayak.com. Just getting back in, give myself a little time limit here, half hour, maybe an hour. I'll try to catch another one, see what happens. I was taking a break and uh, Craig decided to keep paddling around Hannibal Bank and uh, we saw Billfish jump on his bait. And it was pretty cool because we were all looking right back at him when it happened. We saw it right behind him. And uh, it's not a real big billfish that we can tell anyway. But uh, I love billfish on the kayak, man. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm on some kind of a billfish here, but he's really not fighting that hard at this point. He went on a couple of good runs, but he's really, really, he's out at an angle, almost like a 45 degree angle off the left side of my boat. And I could bring him in right now. I could wind in as much line as I wanted. Actually, I'm letting line go slack. I'm, I'm not even being able to keep much of a bend in my rod. But the last thing I want to do is bring this fish in right now, because he's only been on for maybe 10 minutes. After fighting the marlin for more than an hour, what was first thought to be a small fish has revealed itself to be a 400 pound plus black marlin. Um, and the black marlin was probably the highlight of my trip. Big 350, 400 pound black marlin from the kayak. It, I, I don't think there's any way to land it, but we played around with it for a couple hours, two, two and a half hours. I mean, there's times when he pulls and he takes a bunch of line, but for the most part, I mean, it's, he's not very pull, he's not pulling very hard. He's been in relatively close the whole time. Craig refuses to give up, but this isn't a stalemate. The black marlin is winning. Even an extra kayak dragging behind Craig isn't enough to make the beast move. Can I change the tactic, Jim? Yeah, well, this, this fish is acting bizarre. You can't seem to get any pressure on it. But it's also still too freaking green to try and bring in. Something has to change. They simply need to put more pressure on the fish, and so Jim starts paddling. To no avail, Jim is quickly exhausting and the marlin makes no attempt to flee. With daylight waning, Craig makes one last attempt to pressure the fish before he cuts the line. Straight down the 10 knot circle hook and uh, he got away, but I think we got some good jumps out of him and uh, went for a ride for a while. For outstanding customer service, expert advice, and an extensive selection of quality kayak fishing products, visit Hook One at kayakfishinggear.com.